Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Learn the art of embedding HTML code into your GoDaddy website. This guide provides a step-by-step -step approach to insert HTML snippets, scripts or widgets enabling you to incorporate custom functionalities seamlessly. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So, the first thing guys that I will need you to do is to head up to your GoDaddy dashboard which will be eventually like that. So I'm, I'm assuming like from now that you have already an account and you have already bought your own domain on GoDaddy and everything is good and ready to go. In case you didn't have those things ready, well eventually you have to follow one of my oldest videos about GoDaddy websites and how to get one. So this is the first step. Now after you go to your website and you want to add like an HTML code inside of it, well the first thing is you have to go to a section. So we have to create a new section as you can see here. So let's add a new section. And here as you will be able to notice, so there will be a lot of things going on here from for example commerce, contact, files, web and more so what are we interested in basically is this section which is called files and web and there you will find HTML code so click on it click on add and now simply wait until it loads this page so here I will simply add the code since I'm not good enough with uh, like good with HTML I will use ChatGPT to help me but first as you can see I can use this to inject HTML, CSS, and JavaScript into your site between the body and tags. So only try this advanced feature if you are confident working with code. Uh, so here simply I will paste the code here. So let's go and do that. So the first thing I'm going to go to uh, chat GPT, chat open AI. And here let me just ask it, give me a login page using HTML and CSS. There we go. So let's wait and I'm going to copy it. So I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave the SCSS, so I'm not going to need it. And let's try this out. Copy paste. Okay, there we go. We have it. So now I don't know if it's going to work like that, but I'm going to add it here. All right, it didn't work <laughs> as I thought. Uh, well, eventually it will not work uh, the way I wanted it to work. But in general, you know, and this is basically how you can make it work. So let's try to make it make us the same thing. So let's preview it first. So let me just copy this code, paste it here, and preview it first. So here we go. Let's keep it as done. Here we go. Done. And now let's publish the website and try to preview it and see how it's gonna look for people when they first open it. So here we are publishing the website as you can see here in front of us. So view sites. There we go. And if I went all the way down here, here it is. So it is working perfectly. Uh, this is the login. Here I can type here and I can click on login. And eventually they have taken me to the login page of my website itself. So my whole website somehow <laughs> reopened itself in here. Um, let's try to do some JavaScript. So JavaScript also. And let me just try here. Here we go. In inject them all in one script. So let's see if it's going to work. All right, this is perfectly good working. All right, so this is what we actually want. This is the design. Everything is going to be made with JavaScript. Everything will be good to go. So now I'm going only going to copy this, go here, and let me just close that. Click here, change, paste. And yeah, this is perfectly the thing that I wanted it to be. So now simply just click on publish. Let's see if it's going to work. And after that, it should be working and we should preview our website in here. So yeah, do it. All right. Refresh. And here it goes. So normally this is the login page. 
so like here we can click uh, it is invalid so we can type something here type something here and then log in and yeah the same thing goes uh, it took me to this website I could literally make anything I have in mind I can make them for example make the username as for example 300 or uh, hello and password as uh, 300 so let's see all right and now they are going to be basically putting the same thing but with different stuff so for example the username is going to be 300 so if username uh, equals hello and password equals 300 and let's invalid username or password uh, okay you can add further validation if there is anything to be added so let's add it here okay click here write it and done so now i will publish it and see if it is gonna be the thing that I have uh, looking uh, how I was been looking for so now we just have to wait a little bit and we shall find it in here like in front of us without any problems so let's keep on waiting view sites here we go let's go all the way down and log in <laughs> yeah it have like logged me in now let me change this to hello and let's see if it is gonna log me in yeah, it is not logging me, logging me in at all. Uh, yeah, this is not working. But once I have, I, I will remove this. It will log me in. So yeah, we can actually use <laughs> HTML inside of the actual page builder of GoDaddy without any problems. Again, the only two things that you will need to have in mind is a good skill of coding. Uh, and even if you don't know about coding, here it is, ChatGPT. The best AI in the world is gonna figure out everything for you and make you the best code that will help you add your HTML code and insert it inside of your GoDaddy domain so as you saw you can also add not only HTML but also CSS with JavaScript so you can combine them all in one file put them there and the results should be fascinating and very good you can also I think here uh, make it a little bit bigger or make it like uh, for this problem we don't want to be this problem all the time since yeah this is centered all right this is better yeah now it is fully shown so this is better for me since it was like not showing every single element of the code in here but now it is perfectly working so yeah guys that was it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it i try to show you how you can add the html code inside of your godaddy website i hope you enjoyed this video guys if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe and if you do have any more questions make them put them in the comment section down below thank you guys a lot for watching thank you guys a lot and see you guys in the next tutorial bye bye